Hello folks, so I recently purchased the HTC Vive XR Elite and despite a couple of niggles which I will talk about in my main video review, overall I am very impressed with this headset. Now something I think a lot of people are going to want to know about, myself included, is how you can connect this to your PC wirelessly so you can enjoy the full Steam VR library of games that you have. So the software we need to make sure we do have on our PC is the Vive Business Streaming app and also Steam, along with Steam VR. Again, both of these are free apps. And the first thing you will want to do is make sure that Steam VR is installed, even though it won't immediately detect the headset because we haven't set it up yet. Just make sure that software is running on your PC. Next up, you will want to install the Vive Business Streaming app. Again, a very easy installation install. Just make sure that your PC does meet the minimum requirements for streaming. Now, one of the things you are going to need is a decent Wi-Fi network. Your PC will need to be connected to your home network via a LAN cable, okay? But the network itself will need to be able to support at least Wi-Fi 5 with Wi-Fi 6 or 6E strongly recommended. And that's because the Wi-Fi is how the headset itself will connect to the network. But again, the PC will need to be connected hardwired via a LAN cable. So you can fiddle about with some of the settings on the Vive Business Streaming app. However, I left most of them to their default state. One thing that is worth noting is that this TCP for wireless streaming option, I had to play about with this and I'm not sure exactly whether it's better to have this turned on or off for wireless streaming, but I think I got slightly improved results with it enabled, but have a play about with that and see what happens best for you. Now, annoyingly, the Vive Business app also needs to be installed on the headset itself. Why this isn't installed by default straight out of the box, I don't know. Just check, maybe HTC will change things in the future, and maybe you will have the Vive Business app by default, but definitely in my case, I did not. So that means we will just one time have to connect the headset to our PC using a USB-C cable. The cable that's included with the headset will work absolutely fine. So with your headset hardwired to your computer at this stage, make sure the headset is turned on. And then from the Vive Business Streaming app on your PC, you want to install the app onto your headset. So there's a little button that says install, make sure you select that. It takes less than a minute and that will install the app onto your headset. And once that's done, you no longer need to use the USB cable. You can connect wirelessly. So we've gone through the one-time setup process. Now, every time you want to stream Steam VR to your headset from your PC, this is the process you are going to need to do. First off, make sure that the Vive Business Streaming app is open on your PC. Okay, you can have that selected to open when Windows starts. Once that's open, make sure your headset and your controllers are both turned on. You may need to just go through the room scale setup again. Once that's done, open Steam, and then by right clicking on the little Steam icon, you can select open Steam VR. At this stage, Steam will say that your headset is asleep, or it may not detect it the first time you do this, but in either case, the process is the same. Put your headset on, and with your controllers, open the Vive Business Streaming app on your headset. It's already open on the PC, open it on your headset. It will then connect wirelessly to your PC and Steam VR should automatically open. And that's pretty much the entire process. You now have full access to your Steam library on your Vive XR Elite. Honestly, it's a great way to play those games. Being able to whiz through Beat Saber on 360 degrees without any cables, it's just such a completely different experience. And of course, any games you download through Vive port on your headset will still be installed on here so that when you are not using your computer, you can play those as normal. I do want to finish by saying that the Vive XR Elite is definitely the best headset that I have ever personally used. But I am going to keep this video strictly for this tutorial. So thank you for watching. If it helps, please do drop a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe for future content and have a great day. I'll see you next time.